Hey, what's going on guys? Yesterday, Temtem released a new content update that added a new snowy mountain region as well as two more Temtem for you to catch, as well as housing and some balancing updates. In this video, we'll be specifically focusing on the two new Temtem. With them, I want to break them down from both a stat and lore perspective, as well as give you guys a guide on where to catch them. So with all that being said, sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Okay, so to access a new area, you're going to have to travel to this point on the map on Kisiwa. From there, you're going to travel to the upper east corner and take the cable car up to Kilima Peak. Immediately when you get off, travel south and run around this patch of grass. This contains the first newly available Temtem, Momo. Momo are said to have initially originated from the forests of Chipanku and Arbury, however, no one knows for sure. One thing that we do know is that they've been domesticated for quite some time. This neutral type Temtem gets access to two unique traits, the first being Stab Master, which basically doubles a stab bonus, sort of like adaptability from Pokemon, and Snowstorm, which gives all other Temtem two stacks of cold when Momo enters a battlefield. Momo is also boasting a somewhat tanky stat spread from the special perspective, though it's low physical stats are going to be something you want to look out for. Luckily, its only weakness is mental, and that's primarily a special type. It also gets access to moves such as Bark, which lowers both defenses of the foe, and Willpower Drain, which steals stamina from the opponent. Next up is Yowler, a Temtem that was actually in the games previously. Uh, the Dojo Master used one, but you couldn't actually catch it. So to catch it now, all you have to do is follow the path all the way to the cave, go inside, and he's available in there as a rare spawn. Yowler are described as once being extremely rare. They now habit the Kilima Peaks and defend hunting ranges. This neutral type Tem also gets access to two unique traits, the first being Comebacker, which causes any Tem attacking Yowler to receive 50% extra damage from incoming attacks for the remainder of the turn, and Cold-Blooded, which negates the cold status and instead provides you the regenerated status for two turns. You see where I'm kind of going with this? Momo's trait makes it so that everyone gets the cold status, and Yowler benefits from that, so they might be an interesting team. Now, Yowler is actually boasting a whopping 497 base stat total, with its only mediocre stats being special attack and speed. It also gets access to very powerful moves like Oshidashi and Savage Suplex. I think this one's really going to be noteworthy moving forward. So yeah guys, that was a very short guide on the two new Temtem. I personally would have liked a few more neutral types on Kisiwa, but I think the ones that we did get look pretty cool. I'm definitely looking forward to the Chipanku update as it's going to specifically add more digital and electric types to the game. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date when that happens. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd, check out our subscriber Discord, all links in the description. Until next time, peace.